Yo, what's up, Nip Gang? Welcome to another video. And on today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys my settings. Yeah, my settings that I'm using on 2022. And I saw that a lot of people are asking me to do another video on it. And why not? Why not? So here we are. And watch out because I'm gonna give you an extra tip after the settings. And this one is very important, you know. And before I start, I just wanna mention that those settings also apply to mobile okay so don't worry man don't worry i got you on mobile okay so let's let, let's start with it let's not take too long okay so the first settings right here is hide lobby and hide map you have to enable this because if you enable this you're gonna get rid of lag you know you don't want lag you don't want lag so you have to enable those yeah it's gonna look weird you know because it's gonna remove a lot of stuffs on the map but it's gonna be helpful with you you know fps and it really matters in a game like this you know you want fps on this game that's what you want okay let's keep going and all those toggle options you have to disable because you don't need those and if you have those enabled it's gonna create lag and again you don't want it okay so all those toggle options off Camera movement you don't have to change because you already told it off the, the camera movement so you don't have to change it. Info bar is useful for opening and yourself so enable it. it it's good to see your, your performance you know accuracy misses and combo. So you can turn it off. Hide spectators please turn it off. I mean wait actually you have to turn it on. Yeah you have to turn on this option so you, you're not gonna see people spamming your screen you know it's actually on i got confused for a bit but it's on use it on okay and this one is for the people that stays in in the speaker you know i suggest you using on this as well i wasn't using it on because i was streaming you know but i always use it on on okay on, on the green and scroll underlay transparency this option is the option that gets you gameplay with the black background you know there's a lot of people that ask me how did I got a black background on my gameplay and it's this option right here scroll underlay transparency the default is one and if you want to make it dark black just put it zero or you can put like something like 0 0.25 or 0 0.5 you know it's not gonna be completely dark it's up to you okay I use zero because it's really good and it makes the notes very clear for me you know and the next option is go step in I use it on because I like to spin my keyboard when I'm not playing, you know. I can stay calm, I can stay quiet. <laughs> so, yeah, I use it on. It, it's good. <laughs> Middle scroll, I also use it on because I like it when the, the gameplay is in the middle. So I can focus more, I can pay more attention, you know. Those two options, I don't use it. I don't think it's useful. It's very useless, actually. So I don't use it. Down scroll, you know, very... Uh, this one is very personal like i play down scroll but if you play up scroll you don't have to enable this okay just stick to up scroll if you play up scroll i play down scroll and have this on down scroll okay every replication is on every side replication on color hit accuracy indicators on note hit time is to show the milliseconds you know i use it on because if i use it off I think pe people is gonna say i'm gonna ha i'm hacking the game you know so i get a way to prove that you're not cheating is to have the hit time on okay so use it me said no sound i use off because it's very annoying i don't like me, uh, that sound okay hit no sound i don't have it I have, I have it off because i don't like hit sounds you know it's very annoying for me and i think the hit sounds on this game doesn't work well you know it's very off sync arrow fade i don't like arrow fade that animation when you when you hit a note i don't like it i don't like arrow fade so i disable it but it's up to you. If you like it, you can turn it on. It's all up to you, man. And arrow offsets, I use zero. I don't really mess with it. And here on that session, it's my settings. So you can pause the video anytime to check it out. And that that's my setting here. So let's move on to the to the skin. As you guys know, the skin I use is circles. I love circles and I use it on white and that's the color I recommend for you guys to use white or you guys can use red 
don't use black okay black is very confusing because if you use the the black background for your gameplay the note pretty much gonna disappear so you try to use bright colors like yellow you know red green those are very useful and it works very well so yeah uh circles and white but the notes uh the styles i recommend here are the the arrows i don't recommend the bars i don't like bars <laughs> the ozomania blocks is very good step mania i don't use to see it, it doesn't look good it, it doesn't look good please just don't use it i'm pretty sure it's gonna affect your gameplay if you use this one run is very uh, it's actually very good you can use run you can use diamonds diamonds are very good i don't recommend use square it looks very weird it's like super weird don't use square man the x key arrows are actually okay you can stick to it uh aesthetic arrows this one is very good this one is very good if i didn't have the circles i i would use this one because it really looks nice i tried it and it looks amazing and fumo arrows i don't recommend it because man what the heck is this <laughs> so yeah and my speed i'm using right now is 2.15 but for you you might be different you know but try 2.15 if it's too fast you can decrease if it's too slow you can increase you know it's up to you but mine is 2.15 and it, it works very good for me arrow size 1.2 but sometimes i use 1.1 so yeah i keep switching that option 1.1 1.2 i keep switching it hey okay, awesome lane offside i don't use it and eight offside I, I i also don't use it i it's default okay so that's my option here oh yeah my my key binds i use z x comma and period okay so those work really well for me but there's a lot of key binds that you can try and i'm gonna put some some key binds in the in the description of this video so you guys can try it and see if it works well okay and th those are pretty much the settings i got for this game now we're gonna jump into the extra tip okay so stick with me okay so i'm gonna put the link on the description for this thing right here it's called a, a roblox fps unlocker okay so all you have to do here is to click here on the first option in assets rbx fs unlock x64 and you're gonna download it and once you finish you open it and if you want to extract it's up to you uh, i usually don't track it so you just have to open it and it's gonna pop up this screen and it's gonna minimize and boom you you have the fps unlock okay as you guys can see here um where, where you can show it I forgot it's at f5 okay look my fps right now is 500 but if i wasn't using this this application right here my F, my fps were supposed to be 60 you know and the more fps in this game the better because it's gonna make you inputs more responsive you know and the milliseconds on this game matters so you want fps so with this program you can unlock the full power okay I usually use 360 you know because my pc is good it can run on 360 but if you don't have a good pc if your pc is not that good you can use 120 okay i used it 120 for a long time and it's already very good you know it's double 60 so this thing right here this fps unlocker is gonna help you a lot it's gonna make your game more smooth and the inputs is gonna be more fast so if you want to get better and get more six this program will help you a lot and before people say yo you hacking no it's not a hacker it's just unlocks your fps and it helps you with your inputs okay it's not something illegal it's very legal it, it works well and i suggest you using it okay but yeah if you have a bad pc please stick to 120 and if you have a good pc like me you can stick to 360 okay or known so you can reach the maximum fps and that's pretty much it manip gang i hope it helps you guys improve on this game and get more six and i see you guys in the next video peace